Democrats are still on the hunt for just the right candidate to beat Trump. Someone with that elusive mix of progressive bona fides, mainstream appeal, and proven policy track record. I think I've found the perfect man for the job. But I have uh, an adequate background, I believe. You've been told Jimmy Carter's presidency was a colossal failure, that he's a one-term loser doomed by his own naive incompetence. You've been told a lie. Hostage crisis, gas lines, disco. But if you take a close look at his record, he is our best modern president. Donald Trump has turned American politics into his very own reality TV show, a relentless, inescapable drama. Do you like it? Do you think it's fun? Do you think it's healthy for the fate of the country to rest on the feral whims of one man? Well, if not, then Carter is your man. His wasn't the reality TV show presidency. It was the C-SPAN presidency, steadily draining the office of its power and prominence. Okay, well, some of that was unintentional. We tend to like presidents who appear to be on top of everything. Jimmy Carter was terrible at looking like he was in command. I've spent a lot of time deciding how I can be a good president. There was the time he read complaints about his presidency live on national television. Mr. President, you're not leading this nation. Some of your cabinet members don't seem loyal. Jimmy Kimmel, you owe him one. Focus on getting your fat ass in shape, guy. You don't see the people enough anymore. Carter was beautifully unwilling to sell himself as some sort of a messiah. I would like to have a crusade today, and I would like to lead that crusade with your help. When the call is very close, the chances are the experts will be divided almost 50-50. He was just bad at this aspect of presidential theater. There are no simple answers to complicated questions. I alone can fix it. Carter also intentionally rejected the messianic trappings of the office. Carter famously walks alongside the motorcade carrying his own garment bag. He sold the presidential yacht. He ordered the Marine Corps band to stop playing Hail to the Chief whenever he walked into a room. In a way, the American people want a royal family in the White House. I didn't feel inclined to fill that role. Carter just calmly racked up a series of monumental policy victories. He took a hatchet to outdated regulations and unleashed competition all over the economy. Cheap, abundant airfare? That's Carter. A million microbrews? That's Carter. A trillion dollar natural gas boom? That's Carter. Cut through the red tape, the delays. While his predecessors all abused American intelligence agencies to undermine political opponents, Carter championed new oversight of government wiretapping, and he distinguished himself as the only modern president not to be at war during any part of his term. Of the four presidents who've won the Nobel Peace Prize, Jimmy Carter is really the only one who deserved it. Okay, Democrats, how about nominating the anti-reality TV show president? No incessant drama, no cultish devotion, just calmly executed bipartisan solutions. The perfect antidote to Trump. Come on now, he's still eligible for one more term. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. Make sure you click the little bell to turn on notifications so you never miss a video. And if you really like the video, you can even support We The Internet TV on Patreon. Check out the link in the description below.